I think what's happened today with the launch of the Blue Knot Foundation's new guidelines um, is an incredible achievement and it is a necessary thing to happen and what it does is bring a lot more respect and compassion for victims and understanding and they're validated in these guidelines because when I was first diagnosed, I was diagnosed with um, a different diagnosis to what I actually have and that caused a lot of detriment to them working and, and bringing raising children but with greatest understanding now of dissociation and um, dissociative disorders and understanding of complex trauma, complex post-traumatic stress disorder, people are starting to realise now that there has been a lot of people that have been harmed and now with these new guidelines it shows that there's an understanding of people that have been hurt, survivors and victims that now can get help and be appreciated and understood and this is a huge day today to have that happen. I was abused in an institution and one of the first things I did when I got out of that institution was to seek the help of a psychiatrist who diagnosed me incorrectly and I didn't go back. So I went back into living a life where I was hardly functioning um, and doing my very, very best to be a mum and, and to, you know, be functional. And I felt that, you know, I still wasn't having my needs met. And, um, and it, wasn't only, it was only through just recently the Royal Commission being able to tell my story and being able to seek help and get um, understood because there's still a lot of people today um, that don't understand complex trauma and the effects of it. And the guidelines today will help psychiatrists and psychologists and counsellors and mental health professionals understand that complex trauma has huge effects on a person and affects that person's functioning and, and their, their mind, body and soul, really. And not just us, but it for our children and, and things like, you know, our friends that, that can understand us and give us the support we need and give us the validation and, and help in life that we can flourish. <laughs> I think with complex trauma, when other trauma comes along or day-to-day -day life, you know, like um, it compounds who we are and, and what the effects of that are on us. And um, I think if I had been diagnosed correctly in the beginning, we, um, if there was a bigger understanding of, of complex trauma and association and post-traumatic stress and things like that, I think I would have been able to, you know, be more um, functional in society, being able to, you know, secure work and to have my children um, feel more secure and, and understanding as well. And I think it's a flow-on effect. I think that is... Um, you know, with relationships of any kind, I think there needs to be understanding and um, and I think that's really would have been changed if it had been, uh, you know, acknowledged years ago, that would have been a different life for, for myself. And um, and I think, you know, I probably would have been, you know, more educated, more self-secure. And yeah, and it stops a lot of people from moving forward with their lives because it's not that understanding. I think what Julia Gillard did by having a Royal Commission made a huge difference to a lot of people. And I think talking to a commissioner and telling them my story and having him actually know people from my past that um, had shared similar um, life stories and not be around today to be able to tell their stories um, said a lot. And for me, it meant a lot because it meant that I was validated and that I could seek help and that that help was there for me to, to get. And that, um, yeah, and then, you know, even the commissioner would say, you know, the big difference in me from when he first saw me to when he sees me now is huge. And, you know, the confidence and, and that, you know, I'm able to speak to people that, you know, are just wonderful and, <laughs> and supportive. I think there's meaningful, I think there's been meaningful change since the Royal Commission. I think there's still people that don't believe in complex trauma or don't believe in dissociative disorders. I think there's people that can't still face that, that society has let people down. Um, but I, I do think the majority of people are coming to terms with how things are coming, you know, forward, how people are coming forward and saying, hey, we're real, uh, they'll get validation and people are relieved. I mean, no one would do this for fun. <laughs> um, you know, no, you don't make up this stuff. <laughs> You would, why would you do that? <laughs> so, you know, it, it helps you feel that you've finally got a voice and that you can speak out and 
people have experienced mental health issues for a long, long time, you know, since the beginning of time. And now I think there's hope that people can get well and they can get, you know, into society and, and form a part of that helping part of society that is necessary for, for people to be involved in. I think there needs to be a lot more done. But I think there's big leaps and bounds, um, like we're not launching this um, guidelines is a huge thing and I think there is help and support out there. Um, it's just accessing that and it needs to be more recognised and more available and yeah, always can improve, always can get better.